force is authorized. When was the last time you ate a meal that contained meat? Or, for the vegetarians, when was the last time you saw someone eat meat? Or glanced at a dish that contained it? Whether you're a vegetarian or not, you're probably aware of that we consume a whole lot of animal flesh in our western-oriented society, and a whole lot meaning much more than we need, since we as the human race actually are completely capable of surviving without munching animal muscles. Still, you may argue that eating animals is a part of the food chain, and that animals eat each other regularly out in the wild. Some animals are carnivores, some herbivores, some have adapted to eat both types of food. We humans are counted amongst the ones that can eat both, so there is after all nothing obscene with eating other animals, at least from a biological perspective. However, with the industrialization in the 1800s, and to that the ability to grow more crops, we've been able to raise more cattle, as this was for some reason preferred over other methods of ingesting protein, Today, our vast meat consumption in the East is responsible for around 30% of our produced greenhouse gases, so it is without question we can tell that the only sensible thing to do is to start consuming less meat, since the only benefit of it is the taste, thus making it a completely reasonable factor to minimize if we want to preserve our Earth. Now that I've completely tried to brainwash you, let's take a step back. I myself eat meat, uh, eat meat, eat meat, fancy alliteration, on average five times a week for lunch. Mostly this is due to the school's vegetarian option being somewhat crappy and I want to be stuffed and boosted for the lessons so that I can learn neat things, get educated and then perhaps attack the climate question with greater outcome once I've reached a better position in life to do so. However, I can sometimes look straight past a good vegetarian option and head for the fleshy flesh just because my tongue prefers the flavor. So I'm not always a man following his morals. It's a man, a boy, I'm fucking 16, let me enjoy my youth, dumb side of myself. But um, I would still guess that I don't consume above average to what is normal here in the East and I've got the valuations to drag down my consumption once I've become less picky, which is something I'm by the way already heading towards with lightning speed. And to the main point of this video, as the title suggested and you hopefully expected, you can probably already guess where I'm heading after this slightly long introduction. But for the ones that haven't been able to draw the connection yet, let me explain. First, however, put aside any personal, personal, personal valuations and listen. I know this is a sensitive subject since so many people, SSSSS, since so many people follow and love the Epic Meal Time guys and probably will hate me for what I'm about to say. But hell, <laughs> hear me out. Uh, what I'm about to say isn't rambling. But first, personally I have a very hard time not giggling at their videos as they have found a concept that works greatly YouTube wise. It's funny as hell seeing them drive around ordering Big Macs for an army and hear the staff as they drop their jaws and kindly ask if they had what they thought they did. So they are great fun guys actually, but oh, brace yourself, here it comes. The entire concept of the Epic Mealtime Guys videos is incredibly fucking mind-blowingly stupid. There, let it sink in. Yeah, you heard right. But now, why? Well, the concept pretty much being eating what your dreams tell you to, and their dreams generally tell them to eat tons of fast food and candy, it makes for a natural link to my previous statements for the meat part concerning greenhouse gases, that is. On their channel, you can find videos containing meat consumption for... Oh god, I, it's just so much, it's nearly impossible for me to make a prediction. Perhaps 150 years of meat consumption for a regular East living citizen over a little more than two years. And I still think this is an understatement. Of course, this is dividable by the gang's number of around six people, they vary in numbers, but it still gives a yearly meat consumption for each one of them 
exceeding 10 times what the earlier mentioned East Living Citizen would consume. So every guy in the Epic Mealtime show, each one of those, they eat 10 times as much meat in a year. Only looking at these videos, just looking at the amount of meat they eat there or make dishes of. So that's a whole lot. 10 times an East Living Citizen, that's a whole lot. However, you can possibly look by this considering they're only doing this for entertainment and giving artists free hands is okay sometimes for expressing themselves or <laughs> expressing themselves or entertaining people in this case. Still, eating 10 times as much meat as a regular person is difficult to ignore even if it's an artist doing it since the effects are so big it's one of those things that are really sensitive, we all need to help if we want to get down the meat consumption. We can't just have someone running around eating 10 times as much, it's just gonna fuck things up. And we that doesn't eat any meat, I, I eat a little meat, but we... I eat pretty much meat, <laughs> shame on me. Um, all our work is for nothing. If 10 people doesn't eat meat, well he makes up for it by eating 10 times as much. It's just humiliating the people that tries to save the environment by eating 10 times as much, so it's still difficult in spite of them being artists. It's just the wrong way to go in a society where we need to cut down on the meat and the wrong way to entertain people. What you on the other hand definitely can't look by is the fact that the concept of Epic Mealtime has inspired people, and still do, to eat more meat. The dishes they make in this show make people hungry, and while any regular person can't make a three-stage high hamburger lasagna thingy for lunch, it still makes people buy more fast food and consume more meat. How's that going to work in the change-needing world I've already talked about earlier in this video? Well, it's gonna work out like piss. It sure is changed, but in the opposite fucking direction for where we need to head. And I'm gonna slap another argument on top of this why the concept is shit before I start rounding things off. I mentioned that the Epic Mealtime guys not only make fast food dishes but also some insane candy dishes. Now, combine the candy dishes with the fast food dishes and the food related health problem we, here in the, we have here in the East. Once again, it's guessable where I'm heading. It's not suitable at all to promote eating crappy food and lots of candy as we Eastern living people already have a severe problem concerning obesity. Now it's possible to partly counter this argu argument, which I'm going to do now. FPS Russia demonstrates guns and show their potential against dead materia. While many think this is cool, they can still comprehend that he's somewhat professional and that guns are no toys so people take it only as as is, which is as entertainment. Instead of starting to buy tons of guns, be as cool as F here's Russia. He might still contribute to more gun-filled culture, but not in such a big scale. Epic Mealtime, on the other hand, boasts a concept that isn't at all as dangerous on the surface. I mean, eating it, everyone eats, so why the hell not eat tasty? They don't even say anything in style well, this is perhaps a little dumb to do for everyone, like FPS, uh, FPS Russia, who always states he's used with guns and that you shouldn't try the same things as home, so the encouragement is bigger and the risk seemingly lower, replicating what the Epic Mealtime guys does. Rounding things off, Epic Mealtime consumes more than 10 times the regular Eastern citizens yearly intake of meat per person, which I still think is a grave understatement. They encourage people to eat more meat in a world where we need to go the opposite way concerning our climate, and also inspires to eat crappy food, making people fat and in vulnerable position for several diseases. Yet they are given free hands to do like this. Can you understand? <laughs> sure, scientists can try and fix solutions to well climate problems with power efficiency and recycling, but we can just continue to boost the meat eating culture and like that fuck the situation up they're trying to fix even worse by starting this insane crap food eating show. Like, what the fuck? Sure, every third American is overweight than that number is just slightly better in Europe, but let's start a show which undoubtedly would make people even more overweight. What? Yeah, there is quite little to say in counter of just mentioned concrete situations. But if I'm to be more constructive, 
what can they do to make things better, both from a climate perspective and a social perspective? I mean, you can't just tell them that what they're doing is wrong and tell them to shut down their entire channel. So first, they could stop buying only fast food. Meat can be bought ecologically, and I most certainly think they can afford it. Second, they should inform about this way of living and eating isn't anything they recommend for other people, and what they do should only be looked at as entertainment. Third, I think they are in great position to change many people's eating habits and should vary between fleshy meat videos and other not so unhealthy but still tasted dishes. <laughs> I really sound like some boring dude now saying they should get doing something, some like regular cooking shows, but actually, like ordinary Swedish mealtime has managed to make great fun videos in a somewhat similar fashion without having to throw tons of meat into it. I know they've got a somewhat different concept, but still. The entire concept is just to eat tons of crappy food because you want to, but that's not gonna work out in the state our world is in today. They are, however, untouchables having the big subscriber base that they have, being up there, having the support from other big YouTubers, pretty much the only way to get the thoughts I'm presenting here through would be if some other big YouTuber would go against them. Which unfortunately probably never will happen since most big YouTubers don't want conflicts with other big YouTubers. And that's a subject I won't be hopping into now since this video is already darn long. Oh, I hope you managed to see my point and as always feel free to state personal opinions in the comments for ones I'm asking you to share since this is a matter concerning many people anyone know enough epic meal time to be honest it's outside gaming community like entire youtube would be interested in this since so many know about epic meal time i doubt they will ever see this epic meal time guys but one can at least maximize the chances by sharing it with as many as they can that is if you thought this was worthwhile sharing if you enjoyed i'm happy you did Please react, please get some inner thoughts out in the comments or in a PM or wherever. Just react, just say something, just have an opinion. So dull with people, just me. I don't want to conflict, that's just lame. Say something, state your opinion, go against me, whatever. Just say something. This has been Contra Member. Adios.